Hello, in this week's video we're looking at Wakelet for iPad. So I'm a fan of Wakelet, it allows you to create content. I use it as a replacement for Storify and that I can pull together subjects on a particular hashtag and then present them as a story and then I can share them via a link so others can see them. So this is the iPad app. So across the top we've got collections, allows me to see all of my current collections. I can see whether they're private or visible to anyone with a link. I can also see how many times they've been viewed. Items allows me to see the contributors within that. Followers is self-explanatory as is following. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new collection. So we'll click plus and we put in the name there and we click create. I've already got a number of collections I'm going to edit. So I now want to add content to that so I can So I've got a choice to add a link, to write a note, to add an image, to add from Twitter. So I'm going to click add from Twitter. I'm going to type in a hashtag. And then down the left hand side I can see ones that I'm interested in. If I'm not finding what I need there I can go back. And alter the hashtag. And as I find ones I like, I can just click plus to add them. And then at the top, click add. And it will show the pictures and the tweets I've added. I can click on, so click edit. I can add a description. I can alter the visibility as you can see I can choose private unlisted or public so I've got unlisted I can change the view from media view compact view or grid view I'm happy with media with compact view and I can add an image so I can add a a vi an image if I choose to so I'm not going to do that at the moment and then I can click save so there you can see I can then click share and I can choose how I want to share it so I could choose it share it by mail or I could tweet it Click on the three dots, I can reorder items, I can invite contributors and I can delete the collection. So we go back. It's also possible to group collections, so I've got a number of You Care feed chats, so I could pull those together as one thing if I chose to. And I can also look at existing articles that are the existing collections that are there and follow those and share those collections as well. So it could be that I'm teaching a particular topic and I found that someone has created a collection form which I think is useful I could make use of that I could also follow people if I'm interested in the types of things that they are creating so there you have it a quick look through for, for Wakelet I think it works really well on the iPad I could see it being a really useful tool 
uh, for a teacher as a way of pulling together topics that are relevant to the subject that you're teaching. I hope you found the video useful. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and share the video. Remember to turn on the notification bell and keep up to date and I'll look forward to doing another tech video very shortly. Thanks for watching.